to use the bathroom real quick so I can get comfy and start this reaction video. How y'all doing today? Today I'm going to react to Morgan Adams. If you know who Shane Dawson is, which is one of a one of the big top YouTubers, he is engaged to uh, Morgan's brother. She has her own channel and I think she's funny. I think she has a great sense of humor and I like watching her videos. So the video is called Hiring Someone to Rate How I Eat. Okay, let's go ahead and react to that. After I adjust myself for 10 minutes and then look at myself in the viewfinder for another five, we can finally start the video. I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna be honest with myself. I am a person that needs a lot of improvement. And I'm a person that has a lot of flaws. This was actually Shane's idea that he gave to Ryland that I secondhand stole. I am the clumsy one in the family. I need a little bit of- By the way, Ryland is her brother, the one that's engaged to Shane. Training, um, we're going to be taking a dining etiquette class so we can learn how to eat like the Royale, the college frat boys, the Orphan Your Vines, you know, just like the high class individuals. I can't go out with some guy and have like taco sauce dripping <laughs> down into my tits like so I uh actually girl some guys might like that I just need to learn I'm accepting that I need to learn so <laughs> why is everything so funny today <laughs> where you guys know that I usually do like a sponsor a month on my channel to help you know you know what that means, right? She's gonna talk about the sponsor for a while and we ain't got the time. No, we do not. So let's go ahead and forward that. Very uh, huge help to my channel and to the creation of my videos, so. Goodbye. As I'm sitting here, I can feel the big tan on my legs melting off. This is her. That's right. This is who we're meeting. What's her name? Like, let me guess. Oh, I wanted to guess. <laughs> she looks very proud. Oh, she's gonna hate us. She's gonna like, who let these slobs into my sight? So is this like expensive to learn how to have manners? Um, a hundred dollars <laughs> each. It's an investment in your future. Yeah. <laughs> if we're gonna be boss babes, as everyone. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't care. I don't care how professional or how unprofessional it is. I'm gonna eat how I wanna eat. Food is food. Do you think God cares about how you eat it? I don't think so. I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Be thankful that you got it because so many people are starving in this world. Yeah. Girl bosses? Yeah, we're gonna be girl bosses. We need to know how to be proper when we have to go to like fine dining meetings. Yeah, when we have all our top secret meetings that we can't tell you about for the next eight months, we're gonna have to be proper about it. And Morgan was like, is that Nick Jonas? He's like, oh, and I was like, probably. And then I was like, no, that's just what everyone looks like in West Hollywood. Everyone's Nick Jonas here. The good thing is we're late to our etiquette club. Okay, yeah, we have one minute to stare. Have you been to you? I believe they live in California, where all the vloggers and YouTubers live. They all, they're all out there. You know, I haven't met a YouTuber out here in Illinois. Actually, dismiss that. I did meet someone in the mall, but she wasn't vlogging at the time she was working. But that's it. Skirt is on the shorter side, sweetheart, so I'm going to tell you to really keep things. I have shorts on. Is that good? Okay, so we've got uh, some undergarments that are protecting. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I second that. I agree with her. You know, you're going to be classy. You can't, you got to watch your dress. If you're going to wear short shorts, short dresses, short skirts, y'all, ladies, when you go up them steps, be careful. If you don't want us, if you don't want the person behind you to look up, Cover a little bit. Setting the tone. Wow. Wait, this is crazy. Oh. I love my manners. Well, boys, we're drinking tonight. <laughs> Who doesn't love drinking at 3 p.m.? We live in a 
very casual environment in LA. So for entertaining, if you all ever entertain, I th when else are you going to display your nice dishes, right? <laughs> or assuming you have some real dishes, I, because so many people are very um, apt to take out paper plates, right? And yeah, we both ordered the same thing. I want this one because they look a little more. And use paper towel <laughs> as, you know, instead of even paper napkins, even though I would advise cloth napkins. But when you're alone, you pull out a paper plate, huh? No, never. <laughs> no. If you saw a dinner at our house, you would faint. You'd have to oh, be drunk. Really? Extremely, yeah. Oh my goodness. It's, it's just about, again, thinking of another person right. and their needs before your own. And it doesn't have to be about gender. The only time anyone's ever pulled out a chair for me is when they've pulled it out from under me <laughs> and let me fall. Oh, nice. To the ground. Oh, How nice so is that? Fun. That's sad. The basics before the good. I'm going to teach you the continental style of dining today, which is actually not American style. So our, our hands will not be in our laps. They're actually going to be wrists above board, just like this. I know that part. You can't put your elbows on the table. I guess it's considered rude. For everyone can Always. See it. Uh, sort of your default position. And this also helps with posture, which you both are actually sitting very nicely at the table. Oh my God, you're really trying. Well, because you are, you're making an effort. I can feel it. Oh, look, oh. Are you helping us it's to me. not corral yeah. somebody? Yeah. I'm not going to drink because I'm teaching, but may I have an empty glass? We won't be <laughs> supposed to yeah. want to drink. Oh, no, I gotta keep my game on. I like this. It empty. makes me feel like I'm at the White House. Right? And that's the thing. You never know when you'll be invited. <laughs> we, we, we're going to lean in to eat our food versus sitting back and kind of shoveling it in and letting it all fall on our laps. We have, oh nice. Thank you. Oh, it looks no. like your wine is cold, which is a good thing. Thank you. Wine, I like cold. And I'm going to let you drink that in a half of a millisecond. Ooh, I want some wine. In a half of a millisecond as soon as I cover the napkin. So, did you catch that? Look, look what she did. Running away from my childhood traumas like. Drink that in a half of the millisecond as soon as I cover the napkin. So, Girl, lift up your dress. Out, you fold back the upper right corner. Right. So this is on my left. And then you wrap a couple of fingers and you use this interior right hand side to kind of wipe. And then you return the napkin oh, to, your that is to your left. You lost your strap, sweetheart. Yeah. Ah! Where does you need to How did that even happen? Can, put it back I, can up, I just like, can I just Literally put something no. in the organ hole? Now this will not move. <laughs> Did you not know that you can tighten these straps? Are both of your phones on vibrate? Yeah, right I now? get mad when people have loud phones. Okay. I mean, like, who needs to know when you're in a group setting that you're getting a text? Right. Like, why do your friends need to know? You're not they gonna, know. I mean, you want to be present for the people that you're actually in. Oh my God. Right? It, I agree. Tell Pris. Can somebody tell Pris that? Please. Because it's, I think it's so rude. When you're around people, anybody else can wait. The people that are there in front of you are important right now because they put in the effort to be there with you. So give them the attention that they need, that they want. You know, the people on your phone that you can text later, text later. You just, no one is that important. Right. Can we try it? I think he's on. Oh, please. And, and you can you can sort of, you know, give each other a little toast, a salute, you know, to After good health, or to family, to, um, this beautiful day with the sun shining literally right on us. To here. our palace. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank the, you know, universe, etc. Mm. That was a big sip. Was that a big was that, was that a gulp? Yeah, <laughs> or a two for she's gulping. You're probably not supposed to gulp at the table, right? I don't know, I just saw it look like a nice uh <laughs> nice swallow. The good stuff. Bread and soup. Now we have this yummy oh, bread. So the sign of a good restaurant, and we are very happy with Maggiano's no matter what because they gave us this beautiful room. Right. So, so plug to yeah. Maggiano's. Here's what happens. If you have a community, oh, you know what we don't have? Anyone else joining us. <laughs> Besides that. Okay, wait. I, I already dumped my spoon. You don't, you, uh, oh my What's gosh, Riley. Right oh, this looks like the table. a game of yes. Sudoku. Okay. Sudoku. Okay, I'm failing. Why are you doing, why is okay, the club doing better hold than me? Hold on, So, have you heard of the car BMW? Yes. yes. Okay, so w work with me here. B okay. is for bread, M is for meal, W is for water. So I'll only date a guy with a BMW. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Rather 
though, then, then serve myself first because that would be just really rude, right? I want to open the basket and offer it to the person on my immediate left, which you happen to be in the better seat, and you'll just touch the one that you want, place it on your bread plate, perfect. It uh, may take some butter. So pick up the entire plate, sweetheart, use your knife. People do not know how to butter their bread the right way. People oh my take God. Roll, take the butter and spread it across the entire piece and proceed to eat it. And what happens is, A, it can look like you're ready to shove something in your mouth and you can't wait. And, and B, you can get some butter on the corners very easily. Twist so to what? Left. Just Break clean it. Spread over your plate. This is where you can get a pinky in there if you want to look daintier. Take a little butter, spread it on my bread. I like to clean my knife so that there is no residue. Bring the bread into my mouth. Yeah. I shoved okay. a whole roll in my mouth in the fifth grade and I had to get the high mic from the Are you place. serious? She's, got, she's oh, also gone to the hospital for eating chips. So. <laughs> Wait, seriously? <laughs> eating a whole bag of chips, yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Eat soup. It's all about scooping away, not toward, right? Because if you minister any soup, this is an orange colored soup, it's not gonna be a good look, right? So you don't have to, A, look like you're shoveling in sand, right? So we start by scooping away and then drinking from the side of the bowl like this. Did you know that? That's crazy. <laughs> mm. I feel like the sound this is not you. We say to fill up your spoon at a, at a, maybe three quarters of the way, and don't be afraid if you need to kind of brush the side to Why? get any of the um, the drippings to make sure they don't fall. Alan's already going to be needing Girl, a second glass or a third glass up? of wine. If I'm hungry, I'm gonna scoop as much as I can on that spoon and shove it in my mouth. Uh, well, is there food still in there? A little bit, but you know when you okay, want to so get really in there. Okay, you want to tilt really it the there. other way, though. Oh, yeah, okay. You're tilting it away from you. And that's, that's what right would sure. exactly So I spill on the haters, not myself. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> She's gone to two hands now to steady the wine glass. The more wine I get, the worse this oh, is going to be. Oh So, okay, what if that's I want to get the remnants? Is it okay if I just come oh, over here? Oh, no. <laughs> that's where the bread comes in handy, mister. Oh, okay, so then I tear Talk off my piece. really looking like... Your uh, daughter will never date uh, her. That, yeah, well, that. I'm already engaged to a man, so they're fine. <laughs> okay. I feel like we have a very simple... Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. Don't we? Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that ring. You ready? Oh, check this out. Pris's bands are already in here. Mine is should be ready in about a week, so I'm excited. I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah. You guess, you guess. 36 years. Okay. Oh my oh, gosh. gosh, how old do I look? I think uh, you're 47. <laughs> okay, that's a night. that's I'll take it. I'll take that. We're not but guessing her age. We're saying how long she's been Oh, 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 oh <laughs> my gosh. We're guessing how long she's been Thank married. Goodness, no. ah! First of all, no matter how many knives or forks you have, you always work from the outside going in toward your plates. I think it's two utensils or no utensils, unless you're having soup. But forks and knives are a pair. They are married. Okay, so what are these for? Oh, I'm going to guess... Entrees. No, not quite. Sides, mac and cheese. Okay. <laughs> like a side. I've never, I've never even seen a knife like that. I will if if mac and cheese had a certain ingredient, perhaps cheese, crackers and cheese. No, although this could look like a cheese knife, right? But this is for fish. Do you do you like fish? Do you both eat oh, fish? Oh, I'd rather go to Wendy's. Well, no, I like salmon. I do for, like salmon. So no fish for you. Oh, I'll eat fish. oh, sure. Okay, fish. okay. So just not with the head, right? Or the eyes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> The main course, baby. Morgan, raise your left hand. Place the fork handle in the palm. Knife is going to go in the palm of your hand. So basically you're in the- Ah, <sighs> Gizmo's bothering me. Hang on a second. I'm coming. You wanna watch, you wanna react to this video too, Gizmo? Index fingers will be extended here. Pierce the food with the fork and then cut it with your knife. It's okay. Down. Whoa. Interesting. I'm yeah. like a scooper. So. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Whoa. That was a big bite. Okay. I will <laughs> show you what I like to call a party in your mouth. Okay. Which is basically. Uh, <laughs> what really. <laughs> exactly. Are you sure you want to say that? <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but pretend I didn't hear that. Oh, no. So, we really should have a green on here. 
right. like an actual vegetable Should I for our into diet. That kitchen? No, we're we're not gonna bother them. Okay. But cutting a piece of protein. And then if you want to get a little potato. Right. They don't sell this at Party City. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right? Well, yeah. Mmm. I don't know who's on his lid. Wait, it's what? <laughs> if you see the handle going up. Like in this pitchfork oh. position, something is rotten in Denmark. Okay? So look at me. This I go to restaurants and I see people eating like this. No. <laughs> Are you serious? They're not working it. The, the knife is That's very childlike. I feel like if an adult is eating like that, girl, you gotta do something a little different now. Totally on the wrong side of the fork. They have really no idea what they're doing and they're struggling to cut their meat. You just almost literally did. almost killed I know. Can we not point that <laughs> knife at your neck, please? Plate and right. knives and forks must be held together, Missy. So when you're when when this is set, fate four times down, this hand is still holding the knife. Right. It's two utensils or no utensils. They did not teach me that on the border. She He's worked on the border. Where's... I worked to do mommy burger for a very long okay, time. Okay, but were those more casual eateries where? Oh, do you think they were hiring us for fine dining? <laughs> <laughs> this is a secret language. Right. This is the secret language to the wait staff that says, "Please do not take my food. I am resting." Right. You have this position. You come back if it's gone. Oh, you have killing. every right to say. <laughs> and your pitchfork. Yeah, ah. and you're, yeah, and you're saying. I never knew that. I'm gonna keep that in mind. That makes sense. Gizmo, hold on. Take your food. Uh, I need. Go out. I'm starting from the beginning. Ew, I am go. ready to be invited to the Royals. <laughs> okay, exactly, right? I had to sneeze. Oh, do you? This napkin is a blast shield for all <laughs> germs, okay? Did I say that right? So keep this guy down and bring this into your mouth that way. But you've got this folder of worried things are going to fall. <laughs> that oh, God. You can save it for later. You can find it in the Uber on the way home and just be like partying. <laughs> Types of crazy. Everybody's got some type of crazy, right? Right. What's but it's, yours? Yeah. What's mine? I want to know. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. 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 My, my, my daughters would tell me I'm totally off my rocker. I'm a stickler for certain things. All That's right. my type of crazy. My literal crazy is my driving. Oh, oh like you, you get mad at people, you're crazy. aggressive or what? I am a New Yorker. Okay. And oh. I used to drive in New York. So oh. I like to be the first in yeah. every line. So she must cuss a lot. Like, let's get there the fastest way possible. Right. If we don't, the world's over. Exactly. Yes. As if there's a fire <laughs> that's chasing us on the road. Right? Have you been to Chicago? Because Chicago's the same way. Okay. I, I live in a Chicago suburb. And when you're in the city, oh my God. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I drive like a Chicagoan. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm one of those crazy drivers. <laughs> what yes, about correct. you guys? What would you say your crazy is? What do you think I'm crazy about? Oh yeah, there you go. Mm. This is good. <laughs> I'm high maintenance, that's you? for sure. I get that. <laughs> oh, no, no, I mean, I, I can I relate. I know, I know. I can I relate. Mean, but I'm Jewish and high maintenance, so they call it high maintenance. <laughs> the C-H-A-I. Anyway, uh, go ahead. His thing is, after everyone's done eating, he like starts cleaning up before people are even done. The whole thing. Because okay. I'm the... I, I'm the cleaner of the house, and it's always a disaster because everyone's always eating all the food, but nobody has the urge to clean it up. And I'm like, I'm not waking up to this mess, so I'm over here like, ah, That's true. Okay, okay. I get None it. of them are ever going to clean, and I go to bed before everyone. They're all fine staying up till 1, 2, 3 a.m. Right. I'm like, 11.30, i got to go to bed. Lights out. See you okay. guys. Well, why isn't everybody at least, at the very least, bussing their own table? Exactly. Are you kidding me? Are you okay. kidding me? <laughs> i gotta, I got to work on that. I really do. Pris does the cooking. I don't cook, but I gotta help clean up the dishes when everything's said and done. I will wash my own, but it's a. Someone's calling me. Crazy as she can't plan to save her life. <laughs> she goes out of town, and I'm like, Morgan, when are you coming back? And she's like, I haven't booked a return flight. Oh, okay, I'm coming back. Spirit. I'm coming back Tuesday. I'm like, it's Wednesday. Are you home? <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna come home on Sunday. So did you book a flight or not, nice. Morgan? What? The is going on, <laughs> you know? Whoa. All right, I need some more wine. <laughs> cool. Look at his face, it's red. Napkin goes on the left side of your play setting, so to the left of the forks, mm. that's still you. And you left as elegantly as you arrived, right. versus, you know, people will 
throw it out. Or they'll, the worst, they'll put it in their plate. Have you seen people put that down? Oh, napkins? yes. Oh, wait. I wrote a book called Beverly Hills Manners Golden <laughs> Rules from the World's Most Glamorous Zip Code. Promote and girl. Since you two are based here, right? Yeah. You need this book. But it is a Bible for how this town works. Is it on Amazon? It is totally. Absolutely, and guess what? You can download it on Audible. I'd love to have anybody reach out and, and, yeah. and share the wisdom. Right. Well, well, check out Lisa. Check out her classes. I actually like her. I, I feel good vibes off of her. She's actually like pretty cool. You know, being as upscale as she is or how she presents herself, she's still pretty down to earth and it seems like she can mingle with just about anybody. Honestly, we learned a lot more than. Oh we my gosh! So I thought it was gonna be like books on her head, like. Oh well, we could have been doing that. Before. Ah! No, they no, just went to the next time. Yeah, me too. But, but the low we didn't really know how to dive. How to walk in high heels? Oh yeah, I don't know that. I'm a professional. Okay. <laughs> to have this, these, I talk about the ima imaginary manners tool belt. Right. So I'm handing you guys the tools. And this is for you to break out right. as needed. And so now you've got these arsenals, these tools in your arsenal. Right. Margiano's, thank you for the lit room. The food was room. fabulous. Shout out to this. Room. Shout out to Margiano. <laughs> exactly. Shout out to this cake. To the I was gonna say they've been promoting everybody, not just the sponsor, not just her book, but the damn restaurant. That's crazy. So how y'all feel about that video? Um, let me know. Um, I want to do a variety of videos, a variety of YouTubers. I feel like everybody always reacts to the same ones. I want a mix of this and a mix of that. Different nationalities, different cultures, different pranks, uh, different vlogs, all that. Oh, my baby mom's calling me. If you have a YouTuber that you absolutely love and support, let me know who those people are. Let me know who you want me to react to, what kind of videos you want me to react to. All right, y'all, thank you so much for your support. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.